Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It's a lot of fun and very challenging, but it can be a little overwhelming. That's why I like to practice. In this exercise, we're going to do random pulls in which we practice identifying the strength in the dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have four jokers, a flower, north and south pairs, green and white dragon, pair white. In cracks, we have four, five, nine. In dots, we have one, two, three, five, six, eight, pair three, pair eight. In bams, we have two, three, four, six, seven, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play one, two, three dragon and then north and south with a run. I think this is how I would do it. I would play north and south with a run, but we have singles. We need, we need single pair pung. So I was thinking maybe if we get a seven dot, we could do single, then pair the seven pung. So I would keep those same thing here and here, single pair pung, five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight, and then single pair pung, three, four, five, or four, five, six, and these would be discards. So here we're leveraging a little run, here we're leveraging a multiple, and then these are options. And then here I would play one, two, three, dragon, but I would hold this dragon because if we use one of these, we could then use this for maybe a switch to like numbers with threes. So there's a lot of potential and we're leveraging every, multi every multiple but one right there, unless we get a seven, that would be ideal. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Part of me was thinking that maybe we could just do a quint, you know, like south three white, but then that kind of, or, or even we could do, let's say, let's say we do one, two, three, four, five consecutive run and then south white eight for the quint. But then we wouldn't be able to use that multiple So either way, we're going to throw away a multiple. This way, we can maybe use all of them if we can get that seven dot. So maybe we should keep that five. We could even do one, three, five dragon. So maybe just discard that, see if we can build this up or fill that in, or those. This was a challenging one.
interesting. One north and a white dragon. In cracks, we have one, two, three, four, seven, nine. Pair one, pair nine. In dots, we have one, two, three, four, five, seven, pair three. In bams, we have one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Pair one, pair four, pair eight. So the multiples are one, nine, three, one, four, eight. Ones, three, four, eight. Those are the multiples. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would discard those. And then I would probably play one, two, three concealed or maybe the pear hand, if we can get flowers. If the pear hand doesn't come in, do one, two, three of some kind. We have a pear here, pear here, pear here, single twos. So I think I would try for either the pear hand or one, two, three concealed. I know we don't have any flowers. This would be a gap hand. And then down here, I would build around the multiples. We have either four or eight, but we don't have twos or sixes. The twos are up here. So I don't think I would do a two, four, six, eight. I would focus on consecutive run. And the multiples are with the eight and nine, so I probably would focus on six, seven, eight, nine. So this right here would probably be joker bait. And then I would focus on six, seven, eight, nine, probably. There's another multiple. Oh my goodness, this is challenging. Four, five. We could either do a four, five consecutive run or six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine of some kind here. One, two, three, one, three. One, one, three, one, three. Five, one, three, one, three. I was thinking maybe we could do one, three, one, three, five. So one, three in dots, one, three in cracks with a five band. That would be second hand from the bottom under, under odds. So maybe hold the five. Really, you know what I would do? I would hold all one, two, three, four. This is crazy because look at how many tiles we're keeping. We're definitely not going to be able to keep all those tiles. Here we have multiples eight and nine, but no six. So let's see here. If we have two multiples here, up here we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four multiples. One thing I was thinking is maybe we could do one, three, or one nine with three, five, seven singles in the middle, but we have no flowers, no flowers. It would be nice if we could use all the multiples, but sometimes that's just not possible. Let's see, we have three, four, five, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, One, two, okay. All right, how about this? One, two, one, two, dragon. Three, four, five, concealed, or pair hand. Three, four, five, pair hand. But you know what? Then look at all these discards. This is way more discards. Well, we maybe could do joker bait there and there. So eight discards in joker bait, either the pear hand, I would say that would be pear hand. I think the other plan was better. Oh, this is a real, real challenge here. Let's see, so maybe we could just do those to see if big numbers comes in and then do, just focus on one through five, 
and see what builds. I would love to play this out to see what would happen. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at that. One through five, one through five, one through four. Multiple, 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 multiple. Four multiples in there. One, two. We could do one, two, three, four. But then we'd have to throw away two multiples. One thing I was thinking is you could maybe turn this into two hands and let these go. Either way, we're going to have multiples that we're not going to be able to use. So you just want to use the most of your multiples. This one was really challenging. Let me know in the comment section below what you would do with these tiles. I wonder if we could do a consecutive uh, run. For example, we could do one through or two through eight. Two through eight, if we can get a six, bam, do the consecutive pair hand. Two through eight pair hand. So if we were to do the two through eight pair hand right here, and then up here do one nine with three, five, seven in the middle, we'd have to break up a three dot pair. I don't think I would want to do that. Suppose we could do one through seven pair hand there. So, wow, this is really, really challenging. Let's see, one, three, one, three. Where'd that five crack go? I thought we had a five crack in here. One, three, one, three. Oh, it was one, three, one, three, five. So we could do either one, two, three, or one, three, five on top. And then just see what would come in. Oh my goodness, this was challenging. Right, pull two and what you would do with these tiles. We have a couple of jokers, flower, northeast, west, pear, east, red dragon, in cracks, one, three, four, five, seven, nine, singles, in dots, one, two, three, six, nine, pair one, pair three, pair nine, in bams, two, four, five, eight, nine, pair eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would do the odd hand with three, five, seven in the middle. And then maybe something with east and west with a run or news with like numbers. So we could do one nine three five seven in the middle with a flower. Then down here, I would leverage this pair somehow, maybe east and west with a run. The challenge is we're using this up here. Maybe what we could do is one, two, three with east and west, and then use these for the other one. That could work, but I'd rather not deplete that so much. So that's why I kept these. If we were to get, let's say, a seven bam, we could use that one, seven, eight, nine, east and west. So let's see, 
if we get a four dot, we could do two, three, four single pair pung. So probably these would go and maybe keep those for options too. So we have a run, three potential ways. So that's six discards. Really, this probably would go to, it looks a bit crazy, doesn't it? But we just need one tile here, one or four, and then build up, of course, because we need single pair pung, seven bam there. And then whichever multiple we don't use, maybe we could get a joker by discarding one and then our opponent will make an exposure with a joker. That's kind of hit or miss, but it does work sometimes. Okay, if you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do in the comment section below. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles. I like to put my number tiles together in numerical order by suit. And then I put my winds and dragons together and then the flowers and jokers to the side. I zero in on multiples, build around multiples because that's the strength of the hand in American Mahjong. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern. If you have multiples and predominant patterns, build around those and you'll be optimized to complete those hands. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.